Hello, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Um, well, we accomplished quite a lot. Oh, what's that in there? Can we can we get that without melting, do you think? Probably not, huh? I wonder if we could uh, throw like a magic mage hand in there and then um, have it throw stuff to us. They failed scene, that's fine. Revealed. Can it can it move them? Uh, Stone Guard Kerr, come on. I don't th I don't think it can pull it out of there. Mage Hand just never seems to do what I want it to do. Um, there's also some something over there. I don't think I think we already got the skeleton. No one stopped me yet. Is there anything cool in the skeleton? Oh, it's now considered ceiling. I think I already got everything out of the skeleton. Okay, well, we're pretty much done here. I'm gonna do a short rest and um, I am gonna do a full exploration of this area just to make sure that we've kind of checked a bunch of boxes. Uh, I am looking for the adamantine uh, forge. Not sure where it is, but seeing as we've gotten a bunch of clues to it, I, you know, I'd like I'd much prefer that we actually, you know, get it than not. Makes sense, right? Ooh, we've got just like a random wooden chest tucked away in here. Gold. Um, we can go up here. I don't know if there's anything up here. I guess this uh, was the direction I went in the first place. All right, let's have a look at our map. Um, I haven't been north. There's like a bunch of stuff I haven't been north. Most of where I've been has been south. You know, we didn't actually, before we go north, one thing I didn't do was I didn't check the room that was originally poisoned. Because we could get rid of the poison. You're covered in dust. Pretty sure we can just explode the poison Wait, with a fire bolt. A Generally speaking, that's how it works. Although, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a... I, I feel like... Baldur's Gate is a little bit less flexible about these things. It has to be like noxious gas. Can we do a firebolt? I'll do a quick save unless just on the off chance this uh, angers the local populace. Well, there's a brazier right there, so yeah, that can't be it. So that's progress. Um, let's go into stealth mode and see if there's anything in here. A potato, huh? There's another door on the other side. I'd like to check this out, even if it means we get poisoned. I'm I'm fine. Lockpick. This. this is good. Why wow. we don't have guidance because Shadowheart is not with us. Is that a critical fail. Wow. Um. Try again. We're making all of our checks. Okay, there's something in here. Sort of. Maybe it's just, uh... Some foreshadowing. Can we, like, jump down there? No. It's just a chasm. Well, that's gotta be something. That looks like something for sure. Uh, I wonder I wonder if one of us, you know, that happens to have a very far jump might be able to make the jump to that. I don't know what this is. It's probably nothing. We're poisoned. That's fine. I mean, I want to I kind of want to give this a go. It requires long rest. Okay, we'll do a long rest. I can't help but to try and, and look into this a little bit. These boots have seen everything. Seems like Gale's okay, even though I didn't give him anything. No, uh, no story beats. I am looking into some mods, by the way. There's a couple of interesting mods. I was actually thinking of uh, having them ready for this episode, but there's a couple of like 
inventory management mods that look neat and uh, helpful. All right, I'm going to do a save here just in case this goes completely wrong. Okay, now jump. Can we jump over there? I don't think we can. I think it's too far. I don't know what this is, but it's it's too far. Target is too far. Okay, we can't do it. I'm going to load because I don't want to waste that for the whole day. Uh, I'll do a pause here so you don't have to watch this. Okay, so I don't know what this is, but, you know, I, it might be just some foreshadowing to tell us that there's something down there. Um, something we would like to get to. Uh, we do have a maybe a potion of feather falling, but it doesn't matter. We're, we're not going to... I don't think that we're meant to actually, like, pursue this. Okay, we might... I hope we don't get poisoned here. Madness. Please. Where is uh Carlac? Okay, Carlac is also running through. That's nice. Fun that they try and jump through. That's kind of hilarious. Is there any bodies here that we didn't check? Open up. I don't think so. Well, sort of. All right. So um, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and head north. There's a bunch of stuff we haven't done north, I'm sure. Game is great at uh, basically, you know, put, hiding something away in every nook and cranny. Something good here. I, I really appreciate this game for just having like something interesting to check out around every corner. Ooh, heck yeah, I'll take those. I don't know where everyone went. That looks like it's gonna head downwards a little bit. We got some heavy crossbows. I'll add to add these to wares. They're you know trade goods. Rotten fish. Light crossbow. Pick up add to wares. Rotten mushroom. Uh, lock pick. Couple turns should do it. Oh, Shadow Heart, can you go ahead and lend me a hand? Thank you. Light crossbow. Plus one. Add to wares. Add to wares. Quite refined. No Dwergar clan made this. Oh, interesting. We've got some lore. Also, I had the volume turned down. That's my bad. Breezy sandals. It's a bunch of crap over here. Can't, I cannot help but check everything. Maybe you like that about this playthrough. Maybe you hate that about this playthrough. Either way, I cannot change. I cannot change my ways. On sloth and gluttony, vice and vice. Endure, endure, endure. Okay. Uh, a backpack. Backpack, backpack. Ooh, a bunch of money. Okay, so this looks like it leads down. Cragged rock, huh? Oh, that just lets us climb down. Heck yeah, let's climb down this business. Um, all right, we got another lock locked chest here. Be wary. This place is trapped. Okay, so cancel that. Apparently this is a trapped chest, so let's go ahead and disarm it first. All right, now that that's dealt with. What do we got? Anything cool? The real sparky sparks wall. Lightning aura. Um, this looks like something it might be good for um, Shadow Heart. I'd like to think so anyway. Hmm. Um, let's see. 
consume three lightning charges and release a blast of electricity that damages and jolts nearby enemies i mean it's cool does it work for her it does she can actually wear that i cannot believe that she's got she's almost got a full set of uh sparky stuff did i thought she had a helmet as well that gave her sparky sparky stuff but i guess i took that off I'll take this way i can't remember what that did but um yeah that's it for this area that's all we have over here all's well that ends yeah, not as bad as i could have i don't uh, foresee her actually using that we've got some more stuff down here i think there's an alternative to alternate path though uh, that looks like something I can climb down, so I'm gonna head around and you know, On my way. instead of opting for like jumping down a chasm. Seems to me we can go over here and climb down. Lots of little things, lots of little uh, nooks and crannies and bobbles. Wow, the camera! Wow, the camera sometimes. Could use could use a tweak here and there. Best be on my way. <laughs> Good lord. All right. Yeah, we. I, I just struggle. There must be a stockpile nearby. Oh, we got a rib cage. Out in plain sight like that. No, the harpers are too. Sm uh oh our first mimic huh a genuine bona fide mimic oh good lord hiding in plain sight they're only level three should be able to take these guys no problem they do look horrifying all right well this is going to be our first combat um let's do like a jump right here and do just a smack oh we missed uh let's try and daze them nice and uh oh they're immune to, to prone okay They can dash. Look at them dash. Look at he go. He's a uh, activated turbo drive. So he missed and uh, we got to activate Sent Sentinel and that actually hit. I meant to put some put to uh, bless on uh, Shadow Heart. We'll just do a firebolt. Nothing too fancy. Raise some charges. Never mind. Wow. <laughs> I'll just miss on a 75. It's fine. I'm not gonna use a a, a thingy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rage over this. Turbo drive. Wow, he he didn't even move. Um. All right, we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna disengage. Can I not move? Not enough movement. I guess that counts. We're in sight, though. I guess this guy is covering a lot of ground. Okay. Can we do a sneak attack on anyone? No, not really. All right. Well, I messed up then. Okay, we killed our first mimic. What's what's he got? Hand axe plus one wondrous gloves. Troubadours wonder your armor class increases by one. In addition, if you have bardic inspiration, you gain one more use of it. Huh. Yeah, th that's pretty cool. Are we almost over encumbered? Getting there. Very close. Time to strike. Okay, let's uh, jump down here and. Um... Oh, I guess that's until short rest. Oh, well. We'll do a weakening strike with advantage. Nice. I don't know. Did they un get weakened? I don't think they did. Nope. I think they saved against it. Weapon stolen, huh? 
That sucks. That is brutal. Heading out. I'm assuming we'll get it back once we kill this guy. Oh, uh, please don't steal. Okay, Karlak has a fairly high AC, so. Um, if we go over here, we should be able to go into stealth mode. And I don't even have to go into stealth mode. I can just do a sneak attack. And we'll do another basic attack. And we'll do another basic attack. I'm loving Tav's combo. Yeah, there's our there's our hammer, and we're gonna go ahead and re-equip that. And that's gonna take up our action, actually. We could do an action surge, but I really don't think it's worth it on these guys. Let's cut with fire, baby. Just doing some basic attacks and absolutely tearing it. Okay, she took a little bit of damage. That's fine. There you go. We need to find a way forward. Perception failed. What are we? What? What perception are we failing exactly? Come up here. Is everyone failing their perception check? Anything of use? We have a peridot ring and some gold. Didn't really get anything out of that other toy chest, huh? A trap. Just as I expected. Okay. Hidden hidden chest behind the real or hidden real fake chest behind the fake real chest. I don't know. We critically failed. Um, I'm gonna roll again. That's to disarm it. I'd rather because it, it might blow up and and destroy all the interior. Wow, I failed again, huh? I know it's a 20 check, but I've still got like a ton of bonuses. I'd really prefer to to you know like I don't mind failing lockpick che checks, but the disarm is really important. I get it because it I might lose everything in there if I don't succeed. Scroll of Evidence. The first few inches of the scroll are written in formal, elaborate script to the Emerald Enclave and those deemed worthy to see this record. Greetings from those who harp. Uh, know ye that the ones known as Ketheric Thorm, Paladin of Shar, is guilty of crimes against body and spirit. They include, but are not limited to, murder, slavery, and desecration of temples most holy. Let our intent be known in an alliance between the Harpers and the Emerald Enclave. United, we may end Thorm's reign of terror. The High Harpers eagerly await your good word. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead. Um, so apparently you can do, uh, you can sort stuff. Give me a second here. You can do, let's sort by weight. Yeah, a lump of myconid flesh is actually quite heavy. Um, and then there's a way you can sort by equipment. So I'm going to send a couple of things to um, Lazel, who's our official carrier of goods. Just the trade goods. And I guess, um, can we do type? Just type. Uh, all right set like all of this to being trade goods add to wares and also send to Lazel. uh well i guess it unselects them all has succeeded a history check okay we have a ring of absolute force which has thunder wave that's kind of nice uh, i'm gonna give that to carlac because she has a better chance of actually using that. Um, Let's move. Back to Tav. So we got a hand axe plus one. I don't know. 
Is Karlak using a two-handed weapon? She is using a one-handed weapon, and in fact, it's a battle axe plus one. So it wouldn't be a bad idea for her to have another battle axe plus one, or just a hand axe plus one. Um, she'd lose some AC, but like two-handing weapons like this? Oh, can she not do it? She, it won't let her. Huh. Okay. Well, never mind. I, I thought that maybe she could. I'll add this to wares and give it to Karlak. Or sorry, uh, Lazel. Um, anything else we got? We got so much crap. Sort by type. Add to wares. I am wondering what this like infernal iron is going to amount to if it amounts to anything. Well, this was pretty fun. I liked this little encounter. I, I know, like, I, I talked a little bit about this um, in the beginning of my playthrough of this. Is like, I, I don't know how I feel. Like, d and is great and all. I love it. But uh, at the same time, I, I'm not a huge fan of its, like, mythology based on its own, like, icons. It's basically, like, every everything that is iconic in D&D &D feels like a commercial in, in a weird way. It feels like, um, you know... Well, this this isn't the crossover I knew I, I, I you know I didn't know I needed kind of thing you know it always feels like it's checking some kind of box. That's my opinion anyway. I know it's wrong and everyone dislikes that, but I don't care. Reach Moonrise Towers through Grim Forge. Is that where we are? Let's continue heading north. I don't know if there's a way over here that i didn't really fully explore there might have might be but i might come back to that later let's just head north um i don't know it's like uh you know consider for a moment while i've got time here and i could do a pause but i kind of want to talk about this uh, consider for a moment, like, you're fighting a bunch of vampires, or you're fighting a vampire, and, um, you know, they've, they're, they've got their own names, they've got their own agency, um, didn't mean to pick them up, but that's fine, versus, like, you know, that's, that's the end of that, right, versus, um, Dark Judiciar's journal versus like fighting Dracula, right? Which would you prefer to do? Now, pref me, I'd prefer to fight just vampires. I'll tell you why. I know it is forbidden to enter the Inquisitor's chambers, but I could not help myself. Has Master Ketheric Cather not commanded us to see use every possible tool to best Shar's rivals besides the Sybil meant to keep the amulet a secret? She would have hidden it better. The amulet has gifted me a power and energy, therefore, uh, heretofore no, unknown to me. I've never known such might and such cheer. I can barely keep myself from smiling, much to the other's chagrin. It is done. Thank the Dark Lady. Sybil rips the amulet from my throat and casts it into the lava, having found me racked by laughter. The madness has lifted, but I do not know yet. I yet know my penance. Sybil is not known to take pity on thieves. Help the cursed monk. Um, I'd rather fight a bunch of vampires, whether they have their own um, agency or not. As you look at the skeletons, you realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms. These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. I'm never going to get to f finish my thought, am I? Shar worshipper is better off dead. Um, I don't think that she would appreciate hearing that. Whatever killed them made an uh, made an enemy of a powerful goddess. Whatever killed a bunch of Sharans might still be down here. Just saying. Because, like, you know, fighting Dracula feels ham-fisted to me. It feels uh, disingenuous. It's like, oh boy, we're fighting, like, the named vampire. The the vampire everyone knows. 
kind of thing. We're, we're gonna fight the vampire. Um, and, and you know, it's kind of a loaded gun already. It's, it's, I mean, it's been done. Dracula's been fought many times and defeated many times. And the fact that we're doing it doesn't really, uh, lend much to an adventure because like, I don't know. It just, it just doesn't because you know, unless you're, you're saying something specific about Dracula, it's just, you're just doing it because it's checking some kind of box. It's some kind of commercial. It's like, okay, well, the players are going to feel cool for fighting Dracula, whereas they would feel less cool if they were fighting just a bunch of named vampires. And I'm like, you know what, H how about, does that not in some way remove some agency out of my adventure? Because maybe the vampires I'm fighting would be just as interesting, if not more, just as compelling as fighting Dracula. It's just because, you know, you've got all that history, you've got all that lore, mythology, whatever, that icon, um, that, you know, we've, we've misplaced the wrong kind of weight. Now, it looks like I can get in there. I don't know. Cave in. I wonder if we can blow this up like we did. Um, sturdy. It looks... Uh, we might want to get some more... I'm sure I'm not explaining myself well, but, like... I guess I want to have my own adventures and not just, like, piggy bank off of some other kind of adventure that I've already read about or explored okay let's try and blow up this cave in yeah okay um it seems that we consistently need to oh you can like put it right on top i wonder if that would have blown it up better Adamantine slag. Well, that is really encouraging. That's adamantine, I'll wager. What a curious mask. With haste. Wait. This is American's mask. Warriors of the Nine Hells. Single gold. A single gold. I'm detecting a theme, maybe. What's hiding here? Anyway, um, that's why mimics never really impress me. Because I mean, they are so iconic at this point that I, I'd almost rather fight something a bit more original. You know, like we've seen the mimic chest. Um, and I know it's like the big trend now is to make a mimic be something else. Um, I, I, I think that that's nice. Uh, that's an okay way of doing it. But like, also, you know, how about subvert, you could subvert my expectations in, in a different way. Not given, uh, Baldur's Gate shit for this. Because they have to do that, right? That's the whole value of the name. But I am gonna, uh, you know, call out at a certain point. Something's off. Pure shadow. Around me. Inside me. Oh, yeah? I wonder if we can make that jump. Ow. Oh. Avoid that trap. Ouch. I'm sure I can, um, under different circumstances. Maybe if I use the Githyanki thing. Mm. I see a trap. 
I guess that's why like I I it doesn't have value for me is because it is like it's market value, right? The value of the D and D brand is things like oh yeah, I'm gonna fight a mimic and I'm gonna fight uh, you know goblins and all of the D and D stuff because that's the expectation. I'm pretty sure this has no value anymore because we already. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Trapped beacon. That would have, uh, that would have, um, set off the gargoyle. Something I am, I'm honestly really happy about. I know I'm doing a lot of complaining about specifically D and D. Um, something I'm really happy about is Larian has already mentioned that they plan to come back to Divinity. And that makes me really happy because I really like Divinity for a number of reasons. Because it's got the D&D the, the &D combat that... I enjoy basically just like the kind of positional Easy. tactics um, But it doesn't have a lot of the annoying Things about D&D &D that frustrate me this place is trapped. Just gonna go ahead and disarm every trap here and don't worry about it Iron key um, And it's original, you know, it, it, I feel like D and D or uh, Sir Divinity really feels like an original story. I do wish we got experience for disarming traps. I'll be honest. Not sure how we're going to do this. I'm sure we won't take that much damage. I'm just going to, I'm going to save and I'm going to walk tab. It might be that these plates are just triggers. Did that actually work? I don't think so. I was kind of hoping it would just like turn it off. Lock picking impossible. Okay, there's not really anything going on over here. So I'm just going to have everyone come down these come down this ladder. Well, that might take a little bit of damage. I don't, I don't really care. But this, uh, this is very encouraging. Um. Is that blood? No, never mind. What's in here? I don't really know how to explain myself when it comes to, uh, I, I really don't just, I really don't like commercialism. That's really all it is. I don't like when I feel like I'm being sold something, you know? I don't like when something is packaged. Um, honestly, in some ways, I don't like when something is like neat and tidy. Scroll of darkness. I like, uh, you know, when it comes to art, when it comes to how a, to a story is told, uh, how a game is executed, I kind of like things messy are we over encumbered again i think we're getting there can we just do like wares value let's do like value and then um set a bunch of stuff to be wares like these incense for example actually i don't know those incense feel like they're gonna be important I don't know what it is. The fact that they gave me incense feels uh, auspicious.
a lot of people give me strange looks when it, when I, I start talking about not liking being sold to because you know a lot of people don't even get the sense that they're being sold to um it's probably like it is super uh subjective for sure but at the same time i guess i for me i i always get the sense i'm like living in a very commercial world like everything is a franchise everything is some some kind of package deal a multiverse um, is that where, is this where we came from or like, this looks like the boat we came in on. So I think we're above. I have to imagine there's some stuff up here. And so I, I just get like really exhausted really quickly. Swift and even the things that I end up enjoying uh, at a certain point, I'm like, what do you mean can't get the, you guys are in the way aren't you no time to rest yeah i mean that's really it oh there we go we took a bit of damage okay we're gonna have to do a short rest can you guys get up please you can take your time, I guess. All right, that's going to be a short rest for sure. Let's check this out next. Lazel is actually over encumbered, huh? Oh God, I did uh, give her quite a lot of stuff, didn't I? Um, all right, let's. Oh God, did I tell you guys to come back over here for God's sakes? It's really, it's really falling apart right now. Objective noted. Please. Please. Oh my god. I'm just over here talking about commercialism while my party gets completely blasted. All right, we're going to do a short rest. We have to. Better than nothing. Viridian crystal. Good stuff. Silver goblet. Sure. Oh, silver goblet. Wow, so original. Mm. That's a joke. I didn't even... I didn't remotely tell you to go up that ladder. I told you to click the... Oh, I see the cabbage is over there. Okay. All right, we're going we're gonna to pull some levers. That pulls it up. That brings it over. I see. And then the last one brings it down again. Not sure what the purpose is of bringing this up. But we're definitely going to need someone to stay behind. Long sword mold. Oh, we're gonna need that, aren't we? If we want to do make a adamantine anything, we're probably gonna need a mold. I'm assuming we are gonna have some pretty good control over what we make. Now, this all seems kind of spicy. Um, you know what? Let's. Oh God, damn it! Enough waiting. I crave blood. I was just gonna have Shadowheart come over here because she's not over encumbered. I must be casting mold, which means there's a forge nearby. There sure is. We still don't have the fire hammer needed to uh, destroy the the construct that's gonna be guarding Dark Dark Judicial Mask. Map of Moonhaven. 
How did I... Did I miss that? Can we, like, jump over there? We can. There's a lot to explore here. <laughs> if that shithead falls, I'm not cleaning up the splatter. Okay, so it looks like... We want to get over here. Ah, I'm seeing more molds and stuff. I think that we don't need to move anyone over. I am curious about what's in that double doors and we have a bunch of stuff over here. Travel through the underdark. Is this moonrise? I get the impression that this might actually be... No, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, and I don't really know or understand any of it. So I, I want to be careful that I don't proc some kind of story event that I don't mean to. One day I'll catch a break. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to follow the the breadcrumbs, a.k.a. the uh, molds. And hope that they lead us to the, um, the forge. Seems to me, okay, it seems to me someone's going to want to jump on this. So I'm actually going to keep everyone here and have Tav jump over. That should work. Some interesting puzzles we got going on here. We've got a mirror. Map of the move of Moonhaven. This war map offers a detailed plan to attack the village of Moonhaven, encouraging soldiers to kill in merciless silence. Good lord. More armor. Like good armor. I welcome traps, honestly. I guess if uh, you got XP for disarming traps, I'd be like seriously over over leveled right now. Okay, so it looks like it can go this way. I, I kind of want to have a look this way before I mess with levers. Gonna have a lot of stuff to sell next time I uh, find a merchant. Dormitory plaque. Come, all who are weary, sleep and forget. Okay. That's a little bit spooky. Usually that means forget everything, you know. Okay, what do we got going on up here? Oh, this is where I could have jumped over to. Okay. Just... I'm just exploring. Blood, huh? Curious. What are those marks there? Bloody footprints, huh? What happened here? It's hard to make any sense of this mess. What happened here? Okay. It's hard to make any sense of this mess. So, I mean, it looks like to me someone was bleeding and then they jumped into the water. Ah, and we have broken shackles. What happened here? Okay. It's hard to make any sense of this mess. I mean, it's really not. It seems to me that a prisoner escapes there. And in fact, I think we already knew of that. Like we knew that someone escaped.
Arrow of lightning. Okay, let's uh, I also want to check out these doors God keep me out I really don't want to end up in a combat over here, but it, if we do it's not a big deal. Because I can just move people over. What's in here? I know I did, like, literally the opposite of what I said I would do, which was to, uh, follow the, the weapon molds. Someone forgot to oil their equipment. Everything here is rusted to the hells and back. Canticles of the Dark Mistress. Okay. I know we're probably close to Moonrise Towers. This is kind of like the general direction we're supposed to head in, right? Where even am I? Oh, I... Yeah, where am I? Yeah, we're, we're pretty close to uh, Moonrise Towers. So I completely avoided that, like, dark curse... We got some books. Oh, a Harper key. Undelivered letter. My whip has finally coaxed some particulars from the captive Harper. To wit, she revealed the location of her stockpile on a rocky overlook. I investigated but found the chest in question is trapped. Any attempt to open it might break its contents completely. The spy refuses to reveal how to open the chest, even under threat of death. Only crying Lux Splenda with every lash. Some type of a watchword, no doubt. Interrogation continues, and again, please accept my most humble apologies for my earlier oversights. Rest assured, I will not misidentify any more of my fellow Sharons as spies. May they walk forever in shadow. What was that watchword? Lux Splendor. But what does it mean? Ooh, some decent um, scrolls. Slow, uh, scroll of slow. That's a nice one as well. Okay, um, we're pretty much we've we've pretty much exhausted this area. There's another door, but that probably leads out. By which I mean, like, we're getting close. I'm not leaving this area until I find the adamantine uh, forge. That much is for sure. Ah, shield mold. Okay. And a tarnished silver key. I'm glad I check like literally everything. Probably that opens this uh, door here and I don't have to use a lockpick. Uh. One day I'll catch a break. What do we have? Hell's Boar. Okay. Um. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of this. So I'm gonna probably do a pause because I need to get everyone over here. And it's gonna take a second. There's no time to waste. Taste, taste. So I'll see you soon. All right, everyone's in the combat now. I mean, it doesn't look like a particularly difficult one, so oh, I'm not sure why. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not too bummed about it. I'm just gonna throw down some poison. I don't know if these guys are, you know, immune to it or not, but. Immune to poisoned. Okay. Well, that serves me right. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay. We'll we'll just get a kill. Can't afford to let up. Um what will we do as shadow art? 
Can we hit that guy? Mm, I was kind of I'm still not clear as to when when or if poison will actually light on fire. Oh my god Um wow <laughs> Shadow heart Is got herself blown into a secret area <laughs> Where what is this? I am fury. I am death. Oh my god. Okay, well. That my path be was really funny, honestly. Karlak, uh, it's go time. I'm I'm still processing what just happened there. Why is this stealing? Huh. Maragon Legionnaire. I'm sure glad I actually took a moment and uh, had everyone come over here. Um better be cautious. Four to seven. I mean it's it's clear to me that for some reason sneak attack ra range is just better in every way. We hit on a sixty, that was pretty good. Ouch. Wow, that hurt a lot, actually. My path be true. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm doing range attacks at disadvantage. So let's just go away a little bit. Oh, okay, we're close enough to be in their threat range, but not close enough that they're in mine. That's fun. I don't know how I could have been in their threat range. There's a freaking box in the way. Wow, we missed. We missed. Tell you what. Get out of here. Can we get on this thing? No, we can't. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Can we hit him from here? Path is interrupted. Okay. There we go. Uh, Shadowheart made all of her checks. She's gonna need a second. <laughs> Downed. Action, not reaction. Not My God, they got blasted. I cannot believe how far down she is. I'm actually just gonna leave her there for a moment. I want to check out this stuff. Never a dull moment. Light on my feet. We got a fire stoker hand crossbow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, heck yeah. Absolutely. I'll take that. And we're going to use that right away. Uh, where is that? Fire stoker. And that actually means we have now two plus one hand crossbows. We are we are two fisting pistols right now. Finger guns. Elixir of fire resistance. Rusted key. Where did it go? Speak. Did not mean to do that, as always. Where did the rusted key go? Okay, there it is. Devil foil mask. Another mask. I recognize this. Amerigon wore it. 
But they won't fight without a commander. Just you never know. Sometimes like putting all the candles on is is what to do. Ochre jelly. What's inside? Ochre jelly slime. There was like a slime creature here that died. This looks like a door to me. Something good here, I hope. Shadow Heart's just like, yeah, don't worry about me. Um, you stop bleeding and become stable on three. If you regain any hit points, the condition is removed. If an ally helps. Okay, so we can't. She can't come back on her own. Just wondering how to get down to her. Um, I mean, there's some hidden stuff here. I cannot stop. Like, I can't stop. There's just so much stuff to check out. I'm going to try and work my way down to her. Um, these guys are gonna take some damage. Am I out of uh, short rests? I wonder if I did this, if Shadowheart would be okay. I've got a long road ahead. What am I hearing right now? Oh, acid, huh? What's inside? Okay. That is ochre jelly. In fact, there's two of them. Three of them. Where are the other two? Oh, God. I really should have short rested. <sighs> and I don't have my healer. These guys don't have eyes. What is that? Loth's candle. Seems important. Um, I'm assuming these guys are immune to poison. Well, that was pretty good damage. This is gonna feel good. Uh, we're gonna take a potion of healing. Oh. We're gonna do that like basically every round. Uh, we will. Oh, we can't frenzy because that's Knees high. that's an extra action. Lacerate. <laughs> that was not very much damage. Um, piercing shot. Maiming strike. I don't think you can maim a slime. I don't know. These guys seem resistant to slashing. Let's see how they take, like, uh, bludgeoning. Um, we're definitely going to do a second wind. Make way. Do a concussive smash. Mm, that still doesn't really seem to do all that much. Knock prone. They saved against it. I'm gonna use my action surge. Ugh, oh, we're so close. Okay, that's one dead. The fact that we killed one and the other ones are gonna... Oh, we just walked through acid. Dumb. The other ones are going to have to make their way up here. They'll dash, but I don't think they have that much movement. Okay, they apparently have a lot of movement with dash. 
Now they're acidic. I'm trying to figure out what goes well with acidic. Um, scroll of aid might be a good idea, actually. Just gonna go ahead and hide and do some as much damage as I can. That wasn't as much damage as I'd like, but that's still not bad. I mean, that's like half their health. Forever, pal. Um, let's see if we can do some nice damage with Legacy of Avernus. Not bad. We do like can we jump down there? Yeah, we can. Lazella Liz has more health and she'll have advantage against these guys. Nice. That's some good damage. Let's um do we have advantage? Yeah, we can we can do this. Nice. Oh, that was excellent damage. Holy crap. I don't know. Does, uh, does Shadowheart get XP from this? I am now concerned that she doesn't get any XP and I am actually doing a really dumb thing by leaving her down there. Some decent stuff. Rows of books. Ooh, wall of fire, cloud of stinking poison or something? Stinking cloud. My dogs are barking. Can we rest? Yeah, I mean, it's a good idea, but I don't know if it's gonna help um, Shadowheart, so I'd like to get to her before we do that. I'm pretty sure if I open these doors, I will. I can't believe, like, we're pursuing a secret just because someone got blasted all the way down to it. It's kind of neat, actually. The verticality is really cool, because, like, you know, if I had spotted that, I could have, like, done a feather falling kind of thing. Oh, we're, like, here. But... We're not? How come we can't... Oh, there's a button. If I do a short rest, I wonder if it'll help now that I'm close enough. Yes! And now we hit the button. Yo, that's fantastic. I love that so much. Oh my god. All right, well, we'll check this out in the next episode. This is this is really fun. Um, if you guys are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.